Now to an Eyewitness News exclusive. One of the last firefighters pulled from the rubble and ground zero after the 9-11 tax is reflecting on his final tour of duty. More than three decades on the job, Battalion Chief Jim McGlynn is thanking his fellow firefighters in the Bronx with an eye to what's coming up next. Eyewitness News reporter Tim Fleischer has more. Battalion Chief Jim McGlynn has heard the wail of that fire siren over the past 34 years. As he heads out on another call, this is one of his last tours before he retires. This job takes you in, it molds you, it makes you into something that you weren't. Jim and three other chiefs in Battalion 15 oversee four firehouses, seven companies, and a total of 175 firefighters. As he prepares to retire, Eyewitness News was given exclusive time with him as he reflects on his long career and one very dark day. It's a dangerous job. Unfortunately, we've had our, our fair share of, of, of casualties on this job. Then, a lieutenant, he was in the B staircase in the North Tower on 9-11, helping to evacuate people. One of 12 firefighters, three civilians, and one Port Authority police officer, they were together when suddenly their world went dark. We were in the staircase when the building came down. Trying to get a grasp of the situation, the extent of the collapse, uh, whether it was the entire building, whether it was both buildings, and also, of course, how are you going to get out of there? Rescued some five hours later, Jim was the last member out, walking out onto an unbelievable landscape of carnage. I believe I was the last person out. The whole magnitude of the, the collapse kind of really hit you. That's funny. Like yeah. so right. These, these scenes exactly. Here. Exactly. And he never forgets those lost. You realize how lucky you ought to be alive. Staying with the department. The way things played out, and I was very happy to be able to finish my career in the Bronx, the place where I grew up and started. He rose to captain and then to battalion chief, always learning and teaching. Here he is in 2014 at a four-alarm fire which took out two houses. Now it's much more, okay, let's get a great size up, get a size up, what do we have here? Uh, what do we have to do? And now retiring, he greatly appreciates his time here. This job is special. This job is, it's given me anything a person could ask for. Reporting from Wakefield, Tim Fleischer, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.